Hey guys, I'm going to do a review on the language arts curriculum by Michael Clay Thompson. We have been using this book for about two years and really love it. So this is the um, catalog that I picked up and on the back, you can kind of see the different um, choices that they have. That was kind of this, the notes are my own thing. So I chose not to get a lot of the student books and just use the teacher manual. When I was doing it, there's his website. So I could go there. So this is Grammar Town and it's in, we kind of, we had skipped the first level. Um, I believe Pam Barnhill does these books with her kids as part of a group morning time activity, but we had skipped ahead to the level that we were wanting. So here's Grammar Town and what attracted me to this curriculum was just how absolutely beautiful the pages are and the explanations and the um, imagery in the books. So there's just beautiful, beautiful pictures and just, it kind of shows you a little bit about it. It takes you past or takes you through all this. So this, the difference between the teacher manual and the um, student manual is there's parts like this that are in the student manual would be, not have the answers. So the teacher manual has the answers. So answers are in the teacher manual only. So what I did is I just wrote these out on our whiteboard for my kids and we did it that way because there wasn't enough for me in the uh, student manual that made it feel like it needed to be worth it. Um, I love how things are explained in this curriculum and so I use that. Uh, I don't remember why I did that. Oh, because I photocopied this page. That's why. Um, so that was uh, Grammar Town. And then Paragraph Town is this really fun story about this little duck and he's going on this journey through Paragraph Town and he's learning all about paragraphs. Sorry, I can't. So uh, you've got um, Fish Meal and he meets up with Peequack and he learns all of these things about paragraphs. And it just kind of shows you. I just really love this stuff. So then, um, this is, this is the poetry book. I'm going to come back to that because I kind of separate that out in my mind. So what I don't necessarily love about these books is they don't have a lot of worksheets and they don't come with a lot of um, tip sheets or anything. So I made our own grammar books, grammar tips. I just grabbed these cheap file folders. Oh, that's. So this, I, I just photocopied this page out of the book. And um, this is something else I'll explain in a minute. But so I just grabbed... The different, uh, different things that I want that I've used before and put them in a file folder and just kind of, we kind of made our own grammar guide. I like making our own because I feel like we pay attention to it more. The other thing is when diagramming, we use the Montessori style of diagramming. So I had found this online for free and I just cut out all the little colored shapes. It's really hard to do this one handed, sorry. And, um, cut them out and then I got this little box for a dollar at the Dollar Tree and so my daughter will lay out she'll have a sentence that she's working on and she'll use the shapes to put above the parts of speech and then she'll label them underneath so what we did do is we have the practice town um, guide and that's the teacher manual so the teacher manual looks like this with the answers and then if I open up Practice Town, you can see my students' examples. And so she'll have taken the little, um, and then I, I printed this off too for each of the lines. She'll take the little shapes and put them above. And this follows, and I love how he does this. He kind of calls it the, I think it's the four line analysis. I can't remember exactly what word he uses, but I like the bubble format and how he breaks it up and how he kind of changes the way that you're studying the different parts of speech. Um, so we refer to this a lot and we go through each one of these. Okay, let's identify all the parts of the speech. Now, what's the what's the um, parts of the sentence and which way do we go? And so it's a different way of diagramming and it's really connected well with my kids. In addition to that, we had grabbed the poetry uh, book. And again, I just did the teacher manual and I just found it to be extremely beautiful. I loved the way the layout of the book was. That's what really drew it to me. Um, you can use the QR codes and then he's reading the poems. So we would use that and listen to him reading the poems. Um, 
I found one. I felt like it was this was really advanced. I didn't know this stuff about poetry. I don't know if this is normal to know this stuff much about poetry, but we uh we had to go through it again. I definitely wouldn't say I can remember it after going through this, but um but it was good to it was good to learn and uh, I think my daughter and I will probably just do it again.